I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that you hate math. I mean, I really hope that's not what you're thinking, because I think a lot of us give ourselves the crutch of, oh, I hate math, I'm not good at math, to try to avoid doing things that involve numbers. But here's the thing, your checkbook needs to balance anyway, and you need to be statistically literate in order to like survive in the world. So what we're gonna talk about right now is how you can use descriptive statistics and make sense of them for a research project. What's a descriptive statistic? It's just what it sounds like. It's a number that you use to describe something. One of the most common descriptive statistics that you come across every day is your GPA. Well, maybe you don't think about it every day. I actually really hope you don't think about it every day. Anyway, leave that alone. The point is, your GPA is a descriptive statistic describing how you've done in all your classes. The way it's calculated is that every grade you get is, is assigned a number of points those number of points are averaged using the mathematical mean, okay? The mean then allows them to get a number that says, okay, the average number of points that you got on all your classes is this. So that's about how you are. The descriptive statistics are used to describe something that's larger and condense it down to a single number, right? Now, you might look at your, your GPA and think, oh, that doesn't describe me well. After all, it's showing the fact that I got two Ds in my first year and not the fact that I've been getting all A's ever since. Well, you're right. That's because the mean is uh, very sensitive to outliers. If there are some scores that are way outside the trend, it'll yank them down with it, right? So you might prefer that your median grade be talked about, right? What's a median grade? Well, that's the one that if you lined up all your grades from beginning to end, the one that would, the lowest on this side and the highest on this side would fall smack dab in the middle. That might make you feel better. Or what you might be most interested in is your modal grade, the individual item that you received the most, right? So you might say, look, of all my, of my, uh, all my grades, right, the mean is a 7.2 but the median is an A minus, but the modal grade is an A, right? So all of those tell you something about what your grades look like. They all tell you something different about what they look like, and they'll give you some idea about how you're doing, right? They each describe something different about you as a student. Um, P.S., they describe very little about you as a student. You're much bigger than your GPA. Don't think about it too much. So in this section, what we're going to talk about is think about how we can use descriptive statistics to understand politics. There are lots of descriptive statistics that we can use. For instance, I've just talked about using means and medians and modes. Those are pretty basic. You learn them all in elementary school, but they actually can tell us things. You can also figure out ranges. You can figure out standard deviations. You can use a lot of these very basic descriptive statistics to learn something important about the world. Now, one of the reasons that descriptive statistics are so important is that descriptive statistics are what we use to then go on to do tests of association. But I'm not gonna get into tests of association right now. This module is designed for you if you really don't feel very comfortable thinking about statistics and you really wanna feel like you have a good grounding in what descriptive statistics look like before you think about measures of association. If you're working in a group with other people, I'd strongly suggest that at least one member of your group also do the unit on association because it'll make your project much better to be able to think about both descriptive and association. But for now, let's focus merely on how you can do number, use numbers to describe the world.